Yo, what's going on guys? Jtime Morgan here, and I'm back with another video. Yes, I know I haven't made a Fortnite video in forever, probably since the beginning of Chapter 2, but I've been busy with school and finals and transferring all that stuff, so I'm sorry, but you probably forgot who I am anyway, so it is what it is. Anyways, if you enjoy this video today, even just a little bit, make sure you slap a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe, because I will be posting more and more, because I've just made a whole new setup and everything. I'm um, getting a PC soon, so look out for that, and enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, peace guys. So, if you guys don't already know, I use the Xbox Elite Controller to play Fortnite with and all my other games, and I personally love it. I have had it for one year, I got it last year on Christmas, and so far there has been zero problems with it, hasn't broke, nothing. I know people that have it, they never have any problems with it, so durability wise I believe this controller is very well made. Now I don't have the Series 2 uh, Elite controller personally, but I can tell you the differences, like price differences and everything, uh, the different specs on each controller. So. Here we got on the left the Series 1 Elite Controller, and on the right is the Series 2 Elite Controller. Uh, you can see some slight differences, but all around it looks almost the same. Uh, the grip is a little different. I'm not too sure if they still sell the Series 1 controller, but I do know they sell the Series 2 everywhere. First off, a few quick things about the Elite Controller, either one. Uh, they have paddles on the back, if you didn't know. They have paddles, and they basically act as A, B, Y, X. You could choose to use all four, you could use two, you could use only one, position them wherever you want them. It's very similar to a scuff controller if you know what that is. Uh, you can go on to the settings of the controller and change some things around with like your sticks. You can add trigger stops which makes it easier to to use the triggers on your uh, like right trigger, left trigger and all that stuff. In my opinion, the Elite controller is like head and shoulders above a uh, normal controller using for Xbox or PlayStation or something like that. It's just so helpful. Uh, the problem is, when you do get one of these controllers, there is a learning curve to it. Because you're not just going to be able to, like, reprogram your mind into thinking, your mind and your hand movements into thinking uh, with these paddles on the back and everything. So it is a little bit of a learning curve. But once you get used to it, it is such a big difference in your gameplay and everything. And it's super helpful. One of my biggest problems I've always had was aiming and moving and jumping and all that thing, all that stuff at the same time. And with a normal controller, you can't really do that because you have to take your your thumb off the the right stick in order to press A, press B, and all that stuff. Now your fingers on the back are doing that while you are pressing A and B while you can still be aiming and everything. So, so now here are the differences of the Series One and the Series Two controller. Um, they are the exact same in terms of shape and feel. Uh, the Series 2 does have a wraparound grip to it, so like uh, down by your where your palms are, it's got a grip around there, so it definitely makes it easier to hold, and I don't know about if you're a sweaty player or not, if that helps, but I don't know how that works. But it also has... Both of them have the trigger stops, they both have replaceable sticks, they both have replaceable uh, D-pads. They have the circular D-pad thing if you like that. Um, one thing the Series 2 controller does have, I think that the Series 1 doesn't have, is a rechargeable battery pack that ha that's built into the controller. It has, I think, up to 40 hours of uh, play per charge, so that's very helpful. So in terms of function, they both do the same exact thing. The Series 2, I think, is just another way for them to sell more. So the price difference, I believe they're both the same, around $180. Uh, buying used, obviously, is a little different. I would suggest buying it brand new if you plan on uh, getting one, because I don't know how I feel about used products, especially ones that can be worn out like controllers. But keep in mind, uh, the Elite controller can also be used for PC, it's not uh, Xbox exclusive, like you can plug it into a PC. Uh, Claw users, you can also use the Elite Controller. Honestly, if you play Claw, the Elite Controller might be even more helpful than normal. Because when you have your, uh, your finger on the top right, on X and Y, you can focus your fingers on the back on A and B. So you don't have to move your 
move your pointer finger that much on the top. Now, do I think you should get the Series 2 Elite controller for 2020? Uh, as I already said, the price point is around 180. Um, if you have the money, I would say it's a great buy. I don't know if I would say to get rid of your Elite Controller 1 in order to buy it, because it's almost the same exact thing. Also just announced was the uh, new Xbox console. Uh, I believe it's called Generation X, or if they're just calling it Xbox. But I'm not sure when they do uh, make the new gen console, if they will have the same uh, same controllers, like if, if these controllers will work for that. So I can't say to buy one in anticipation of the new Xbox. Now, if you play PC, obviously that doesn't matter because you can just use the Xbox con controller on a PC. I mean, really, it's up to you. Um, I would say if you're strung tight on money, I would say maybe wait until the new generation Xbox comes out if you plan on buying that. Because who knows, maybe when that generation Xbox comes out, they'll uh, make the Series 3 controller and your Series 2 is going to be old news. So final thoughts, is the Elite Controller worth the upgrade if you have the first one? I would say wait to upgrade it uh, until at least the new generation Xbox comes out. Um, if you don't have an Xbox Elite Controller right now and you really do want one, I would say definitely buy the Series 2. Don't go looking for the Series 1 because, I mean, the Series 2 is the Series 1 just with minor upgrades. And like I said, I really do love this controller, so I would definitely suggest getting one if you do not have one already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will be posting more and more often. Uh, trust me this time. I know I've said it before, but uh, this time I am excited with my whole new gaming setup and everything like that. If you want to see me learning how to use the Elite Controller about a year ago, that video will be linked in the description below, so check that out. It can be very useful to you if you plan on getting one. I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a happy new year. Peace, guys.